Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to write the remove item function for our hash table project. So in the last video we just finished writing case 2 where there is a match contained in the very first item in the bucket we're looking into and there are additional items in that bucket as well. So we took care of that case right here and so now we're going to look at case 3 and case 3 would be the case where case 0, 1, and 2 didn't execute and so now we're looking at the case where the bucket contains more than one item, but the very first item is not a match. So to check for that case, we'll just go ahead and say else. So this else statement will execute if cases 0, 1, and 2 did not execute. And so inside of here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our P1 pointer, and we're going to make that point to the second item in the bucket we're looking into by saying P1 hash table and then the bucket that we want is contained in the index variable and then we want to point to the second item so we'll just say next so now p1 is pointing to the second item in the bucket that we're looking into and then we want to make p2 point to the first item in the bucket that we're looking into and so what I'm doing here is I'm just making p2 trail one item behind p1 and we'll keep trailing p2 behind p1 as we search through this bucket and we'll stop when we either find a match or when we've reached the very end of the list inside the bucket so let's go ahead and scroll up a little bit here so now p1 is pointing to the second item in the bucket that we're looking into and so we already know that the very first item is not a match because we've checked for that in cases one and two. So now we're going to just do a while loop inside of this else condition right here. And so we're going to say while pointer one is not pointing to null and as long as the item that P1 is pointing to does not contain a name that matches the name that we are looking for, then we want to go ahead and execute everything in this while loop here. So these are the two conditions that we would want to exit the while loop because the while loop is just going to advance P1 and P2 one step at a time. And so as long as we are pointing to some item is what this is saying, and as long as the item we're pointing to isn't the item we're looking for, then we want to go ahead and advance P1 and P2. So let's go ahead and do the advancing now. So we'll just say P2 equals P1. So now P2 moves up one item, and then we'll just move P1 up as well, and we'll say P1 equals P1 next. So what this while loop is doing now is as long as we are pointing to some item, and that item isn't the item we're looking for, then we just simply advance P2 one item and we advance P1 one item. So that's all the while loop is doing there. So now we're going to look for case 3.1 where there's no match. So we just exited the while loop. So that means that either P1 is pointing to null or P1 has found the name we're looking for. So to check for case 3.1, we're just going to ask if P1 is pointing to null. So we'll say if P1 is pointing to nothing then that means that it exited on this condition right here and that means we didn't find a match because we've gone through the whole list and we finally ended up at the point where p1 is pointing to null at the very end of the list of items so if that's the case we're just going to print a message to the screen and to do that i'll just go ahead and copy the same message that i had up here that says that uh, the name you're looking for was not found in the hash table so we'll go ahead and copy that and then I'll go back down here and I'll just go ahead and paste that right there. So that takes care of case 3.1. So now let's go ahead and look at case 3.2. And so all we have to do for this case right here, let's just go ahead and cut this and paste it up above. So all we have to do now for case 3.2 is simply say else because we know that we've exited either on this condition or this condition. So this else statement is going to pick up the condition where we found the matching name. So if we hit this else statement right here, that means that we found the name we're looking for. And then we'll just go ahead and set our deletion pointer to point to whatever item our P1 pointer is pointing to. And then we'll go ahead and advance our P1 pointer to the next item in the list by saying P1 equals P1 next. 
So we're advancing our P1 pointer to the next item in the list. And then we want the item that P2 is pointing to to now have a next pointer that points to the item that P1 is pointing to. So the way we do that is we just say P2 arrow next equals P1. So what we've done here now is we're making the deletion pointer point to the item that we want to remove and then we make the P1 pointer point to the very next item in the list and since we want to remove the item that P1 was pointing to which is also referenced by P2 next we make sure that P2 next now references the new item that P1 is pointing to so now the only thing that's pointing to this item that P1 was originally pointing to is the deletion pointer and so now we can go ahead and delete the item that we want to remove and so what we're going to do is we'll just type in delete and we'll say del PTR to go ahead and delete that item that the deletion pointer is pointing to and then we'll just go ahead and I'll just scroll up here and I'll just copy this statement right here and I'll go ahead and paste it down below and we'll let the user know that when we've gotten to this point that the name of the person that they were trying to remove was removed from the hash table. So that takes care of all the different cases that we might run into when we're trying to remove an item from our hash table. So in the next video, let's just go ahead and test this remove item function to make sure that everything is working properly. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video as we begin to test the remove item function. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.